Hi there, my name is Kobe Kingsford and as you are seeing this, I am on holiday and I thought that I would pre-record some stuff just, you know, for consistency's sake so that I can upload some stuff to my channel while I am gone because I won't be able to film for a few weeks most likely. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, I asked some people on Instagram specifically what they wanted to see and some people said tips on songwriting and I thought you know what why not uh, yeah I'm not a professional singer songwriter musician but I do like music a lot and I have written a, a lot of songs I'm not saying that they are the best songs that you can hear but they're also not I mean they still qualify as songs so perhaps that makes me qualified to talk about this I just thought I'd give my own tips um, so there's, like every everything else in the world, there's a lot of things or a lot of ways to go about writing a song. And uh, so what I'm going to tell you will just be from right at the top of my head, just things that I can come, come up with and things that I usually do when I write songs. So there's two types of people in the world when it comes to writing songs. There's the people who have a pretty organised approach, if I can call it that, uh, and they sit down and like, okay, now I'm going to walk, work, work on a song, I'm going to uh, write this, I'm going to work on the lyrics, I'm going to work on the chords, I'm going to work on the melody, and uh, I'll do that that's what I'll do today, or that's what I'll do for an hour, and then I'll um, make dinner or something. And I'll do that every Thursday, for example, sit down and write a song. Um, and then there's some people who cannot feel inspired at all if they were to sit down and make themselves write a song, they can't work on it, it needs to come to them. And then they may go months without writing anything and then suddenly in the course of like a few weeks they've written like four or five songs. I am in the latter group. Uh, I really cannot sit down and be like, Kovi, you're going to write a song now because I need to, I need to get the feel for it, right? I need to feel it in my soul. I can't, and I know that sounds horribly cheesy or like corny, but I really cannot sit down and have this work approach to it, even if it's fun work, you know, like, uh, there's lots of fun music work to do, like I do at school, but when it comes to songwriting, uh, I really need to feel it in my soul. Um, so, what I will do usually is I'll start with a chord progression, um, and then I usually either grab grab a piano or my guitar. Uh, grabbing a guitar is easiest and you can kind of bring it places so that's what I usually do. Um, also I don't have a good keyboard in my house. I usually use the pianos at school so whenever I'm home I usually just use my guitar. And then I just mess around on it, honestly. Uh, let's see. I'll just try to do some chords. C, E minor, G, D. Those are kind of very standard chords. Uh, and then there's D major, G, A, D again. Uh, those are some happy chords, let's try those. Right. Not the best guitar player. Um, so say I want to try something with those chords. Uh, let's try a strumming pattern. Perhaps I'll try some finger play. And if I found some chords I'm happy with, I'll just do this drumming now for simplicity's sake. Um, I may start to try to just make a little melody over it. Play like this.
I like iced coffee on Thursdays Cause then I need some extra energy for the rest of the week I don't know, I'm, I'm drinking iced coffee right now But that's honestly what I do now That obviously wasn't a very serious attempt And I'm not really in the mood right now Because uh, <laughs> I need to be in the mood But um, no, it's really just I, I I find some chords I find it interesting. Um, <clears throat> I don't always like necessarily find find a chord progression. I may just suddenly say this chord, and then I just I I, I don't know. I just randomly find a chord, and then I let my um, hand go wherever it wants and it may not always fit either let's go back to where I started maybe that's interesting um yeah that's kind of what I do I find I find some chords that I like and then I try to, usually the like a melody that fits the chords kind of pop up in my head and then I start randomly singing lyrics. Uh, that is usually my approach and with the lyrics I just, I let my mind, I just let my mind go, right? Uh, so when I sing something I just make up words that fit with the melody, I like the syllables that fit. And it may not even make sense, but usually I, it's kind of like a, just, um, it's kind of brainstorming in the moment, right? So I'll sing some random words and then I'll just do that and sing what I feel fits the melody or what mood I'm in. Just random words, just spit them all out. And then maybe uh, there's like, there's a line that's like, oh, actually, that's kind of that's kind of cool. And then I write it down, and then I keep going like that. And maybe uh, this happens a lot where I sing something. Say I sing like a whole verse, and then I'm like, oh, that was really good. But then I forget everything that I sang when when I'm gonna write it down because it's so like in the moment. So what would be vi wiser? Wiser would be to maybe record yourself as you're doing that brainstorming thing um, if you want to go for that approach um, because then maybe you can listen back to it and remember what you actually sung and maybe you're like oh my god that is genius or maybe you're like that actually sounded weird why did I think that that made sense in the moment um, but you may also want to write the lyrics first which is also cool like it's it's a very individual process. Um, as I said, I usually write the chord progressions first, but um, but uh, lyrics also works very well. You may write a text, or maybe write a verse, or maybe even just find a poem, or there's a saying that you like, or a quote, and then you write lyrics based on that. Or maybe you just have that in mind, say, <sighs> a quote, um... Okay, one of my favorite quotes is one that my old best friend told me, which was, uh, my purpose went unfulfilled, but I felt complete already. That's the only quote that I could think of right now. But maybe you have a quote like that, and then you're like, oh, okay, I, I, want, my, I want my song to be about something like that. I don't really feel like that quote fits with this chord progression, because this sounds very happy. Um, but that's also another thing that happens, like, I find a chord progression and I think that sounds really happy and then it turns out bittersweet in the end, because I always have, like, there's always, I don't know, I just, yeah, you may change, you may change chords, like, maybe you have a chord progression and you're like, oh, that sounds so happy, so the lyrics must be happy, but then you start writing the lyrics and you're like, wait, actually, it would be kind of interesting if the chords was this really happy progression and then the lyrics was very sad. Um, something like that. And also in the lyrics, don't be too hard on yourself with like cliches when it comes to that because especially when you're just brainstorming 
just let yourself don't don't put any limits to yourself and you have so many opportunities to like refine is that the word or like go through the lyrics later that at first it's really just about getting everything out there um and maybe you you're not able to finish a song maybe you really get stuck on the lyrics or the chord progression and then um, that happens to me a lot that i get stuck on the lyrics because i honestly have no idea to write because the the music makes me feel a certain way but i have no idea how to put that into words and for example a song that i've written recently called hymn of a lonesome creature um which you'll get to hear eventually there's a small clip of it on instagram if anyone's interested link in the description uh to my instagram but anyway uh with that song i found this chord progression that i really really liked um and i thought it was really nice but i i wrote like Pro I probably have eight different like full songs, full lyrics, uh, in my in the notes of my phone for the same chord progression, but I had no idea what the lyrics should be about. So I just wrote a bunch of stuff that many different topics for the same song, and then finally I found one that I'm happy with. But that was like my eighth draft or something, and that song was really frustrating because I had no idea what to write about. Um, and sometimes it is like that, so, um, yeah, it, it can help to just be like, alright, I'll not, I'll not push myself, because I really cannot force myself to write anything, I need to be in the mood, and I need to feel the song to feel inspired, um, and then perhaps I work on something else, or I look through some songs that I like and see if I can find any inspiration in them or I just leave it entirely and I come back a few days later and maybe I have some fresh ideas in mind or if you just um, come up with something in the middle of the day like this little tune maybe uh, hum it like into the rec do a recording on your phone and uh, just hum it into your phone and then you have that for later so you can come back to that or if there's a piece of lyrics or something that pops up in your head or if you you're having a conversation with someone and they say something and you're like oh that could be a cool song title just random stuff like that you could write it down in your notes and then perhaps you can come back to that later when you have a chord progression but you have no idea what the lyrics should be and then you read through that and you feel inspired um yeah or if you find i don't know or, or the other way around like um if you have lyrics but you have no idea what the chords should be then maybe one day you randomly just do a few chords just strum some random stuff and you're like oh that's good then you can write that down in your, note, in your notes and save that for later too i've done that with so much stuff i just have random things that says like kind of upbeat song and then <laughs> a list of the chords i have no lyrics i haven't worked on it or made it into a song yet but Perhaps one day I'll play that, and while I'm playing it, something will pop into my head, and I'll feel inspired to finish the song. There's also a lot of... I kind of regret not doing that with earlier songs. What is it? No. Honey. Yeah, I know. Sorry, that was my dad. Uh, I don't know if I'll edit this out, because... I'm trying to do this as soon as possible. I'm going to the cinema. You see, Annie was just asking if I'm leaving soon, and he was wondering when the video starts. Not the video, the the, the film. Anyway, what was I saying? Right, I kind of regret not because it, like through the years, since so I was like, I don't know. I have chord progressions from like when I was fourteen that I regret not writing down because one day suddenly I, I remember some of the lyrics or like some of the melody but I have no idea what the rest of the song was like and I kind of regret not writing the chords down in my notes um, for later and saving that um, but yeah that is really just my approach I just sit down with my guitar whenever I feel like it um, I don't force myself to write anything because with me it just it's not productive because I really can't make myself write something I need to be in the mood so if I maybe I feel kind of sad or maybe I feel very happy or inspired or something I just sit down and mess around on my guitar if you don't have an instrument uh, perhaps you could start writing the lyrics and then 
maybe you can make a melody for that lyrics and then uh, perhaps or perhaps you can go online and find some samples for um, like in instrumental music and then you can uh sing something over that or um maybe maybe you play an instrument maybe you don't sing at all uh you just uh, you don't need any lyrics or anything you just need a melody or something like that um just improvise and see if there's anything good that's basically what i do as well when i play some chords i just sing random words over them to see what fits it's really just improvisation and then uh perhaps there's certain things that i can focus on or that i pick up as sort of sort of good and then i write it down and save it for later so i don't know if this was helpful uh i hope it was it it was really just trying to get everything in my main in in my main in my brain and splash it out onto my phone screen that I'm recording on right now. I really just tried to say anything I could think of. Um I hope it was helpful. Let me know in the comments if it was, if you have any further questions or if you have any tips, uh then please leave them in the comments and uh, yeah. Thanks so much for watching. Stay safe and eat, drink, and do not hurt yourselves, and remember that you are so much more than you can ever do. Like, seriously, I'm going to go to the cinema now to watch Tolkien with my best friend Celine. I've already watched the film once, but I'm watching it again because one of the characters is uh, pretty sure he's, uh, he's gay, and I now have a huge crush on him, so I'm looking forward to seeing that film again and seeing him again. No, okay, I'm not going to say that because that's a spoiler, but yeah. I'll be... No, I'm not going to say anything else. But, uh, yeah. Okay, thanks for watching. Goodbye.